Food is the ingredient that brings us together. Starting next week, we'll be bringing you travel and food videos from Morocco. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be heading to uh, Moltaka, a Moroccan restaurant located in uh, downtown uh, east side of uh, Vancouver, close to Heather Street uh, and Hastings. Um, they have gluten-free, vegan, as well as uh, halal options. So stay tuned as we go inside the restaurant and show you uh, their menu as well as the decor. And we'll uh, try some food and uh, give you a review. The restaurant is open 7 days a week. They open at 11.30 a.m. And are open until 3 p.m. They close at 3 p.m. and reopen back at 5 p.m. Inside of the restaurant is beautifully decorated. They have nice cushions on the side as well as pillows. There's decorations on the wall as well as on the tables. Uh, so as soon as you walk in, it just takes you to another world. So here we have their uh, salad platter which uh, includes some uh, black uh, olives as well as uh, eggplants which they call zalouk. It's uh, steamed eggplants mixed with uh, herbs and spices. Next we have uh, kidney beans. They call it uh, lubia. It's just in a um, tomato sauce curry. Um, and then we also have the uh, Moroccan salad, which is just fresh tomatoes and cucumbers. And lastly, we have the carrot salad, which is uh, basically cooked uh, carrots mixed with uh, herbs and uh, spices. Moroccan bread, uh, which brings another level of uh, texture and flavor to every dish. We'll start off with the uh, kidney beans. Uh, the kidney beans themselves are really soft. You can taste the flavors of the tomato as well as other spices. Next is the carrot salad. The carrot uh, has a little bit of sweetness from the carrot itself and I think they probably have lemon juice in there so you get a little bit of citrus as well. Now uh, we have the uh, eggplant. The eggplant also has uh, tomatoes in it, so you get a little bit of sourness from the, the tomato, but overall the, the flavors are balanced. And last but not least, we just have the uh, fresh veggies, which are just the cucumbers and uh, tomatoes. Here we have the uh, fresh uh, Moroccan uh, bread. It's really soft. It's warm. I think they freshly bake it uh, in the restaurant. As you can see, the steam is coming out. Uh, and this actually gives much more uh, texture and flavor uh, to the dishes. So. Um, when you try the salads uh, by itself and then when you try it with the bread, the bread actually highlights those flavors uh, much more. The 
For our main dish, we got uh, lamb uh, tagine, which has uh, carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, as well as uh, green peas. It's served with a side of uh, couscous. And the next one was the chicken tagine, which comes with carrots, potatoes, as well as uh, pumpkin, and it's served in their traditional uh, dish. Let's uh, start out with the couscous. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, the meat as well as the veggies from the tagine as well. And uh, let's taste the flavors and see how uh, they are. So we got a little bit of pumpkin, some green peas, potatoes as well as carrots, and the lamb meat. The meat is really soft. Um, as soon as you move it around, it actually breaks apart. It uh, does not give any resistance. So you can see it just it breaks apart piece by piece. It does not require a lot of force at all. And even the veggies, they're actually uh, really soft. They're cooked uh, uh, to perfection. I think they, they don't use too much um, oil, uh, but rather they just uh, put them in that pot on, on top of slow heat and they cook in their own uh, juices and, and moisture that are developed during that cooking process. The couscous is really flavorful, uh, has some spices in it, and the tagine themselves uh, is actually the meat is really flavorful. So next here we have is a chicken. The outside of it, as you can uh, see, it's a little bit kind of roasted, but the meat itself is really soft, easily breaks. The chicken was also really flavorful, doesn't have any chicken uh, smell at all. Uh, and with all that uh, veggies and the curry overall was really really uh, flavorful and it went really well with the uh, couscous and also with the Moroccan bread. Overall we had a great experience we loved the food as well as the decor inside the restaurant and uh, the service was outstanding the owner is awesome uh, he told us that they get their recipe as well as their uh, decor uh, from Marrakesh, uh, that's where they're uh, based out of. Like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for our next video that we'll be making from Morocco, or if you like us to uh, make a certain video on any specific food items from Morocco, please don't forget to uh, write it in the comment section below.